What was the best moment you've seen where the real world hit a spoiled rich kid? I grew up with rich kids and still keep in touch with a few of them. One guy's father owned the most prestigious law firm in town. He said his life changed the moment he called his father from jail, the second time it happened. His father said well, sorry to hear you got arrested, good luck, then hung up. He said getting locked back into his cell was the singular moment that completely turned his life around. I knew this rich kid from high school that went off to college and partied every single night. His parents found out that he was failing basically all of his classes, so they secretly drove up early one Saturday morning with the spare set of keys to the car they had bought him and just drove off with the car. Somewhat distant relative spent all of his university years and 20s partying hard with the 100-120k allowance his rich company owning father gave him each year. He'd travel the world each year going to Bali, Thailand, Europe, every year Oktoberfest, just rampaging. At 32 or so he decided to settle an upscale ski resort area of the US and open a business with his hot gold digger fiancé. When he went to transfer his money to his US bank account he noticed it only came to a few thousand dollars. He angrily asked the bank worker why she hadn't transferred the entire amount only to be told that that was the entire amount. His father had cut him off without saying anything, and he just hadn't noticed. Absolute flatline. Rich guy in our college dorm thought he was into shareable cause his dad was some NFL player from the 90s, and had not blown all his money yet. He would get freshman girls blackout drunk, and then film himself having sex with them, and then show all his buddies the next day or so. Well one buddy was not as close as he thought, and went to the rat who then went to campus police, and then real police. It was a fun night watching the parking lot fill up with the board cops on duty that night and haul his ass out of the dorms while they went and gathered his evidence. That one Instagram model who got caught on video talking shit to a security guard at VidCon. Not only did the guard stand his ground and not let him in because he wasn't famous enough to be given a pass and too rich to just buy one, but once the internet saw the video the guard ended up with more followers than the kid classmate in college failed his course. Partied for a year with dad's money. Never studied. Ever. Thing is. Inheriting his father's construction company, to quarries, a fleet of trucks and equipment, depended on him manning up and passing the class. All he had to do was learn the basics of mechanical diagnostic and repair and be set for life. Administration and faculty at a university refused a substantial offer of endowment money from a couple that wanted their son enrolled as an art major. Their son couldn't meet the minimum scholastic entrance requirements and he had little aptitude for art. Still, with their millions, he thought money would buy his way to an easy degree as an art major. He was dumbfounded to receive a notice of non-admittance. I had a room at my freshman year of college that came from an incredibly rich oil family from the Middle East. I remember him having the hardest time adjusting to not having someone else prepare him food. I remember waking up one morning and going to the kitchen and seeing him try to eat eggs and toast he had just prepared himself. He asked me how I normally prepare fried eggs because his tasted really crunchy. Turns out he had just cracked the egg hole into the pan and prepared it shell and all. I couldn't stop laughing, but felt really bad for the dude. My best moment was when I got hired by a pair of Woodside cap parents to transition their horrible 18 year old into the realities of real life, something that evaded both of them. My first action was to take away his platinum, limitless, credit cards. He threw a tantrum that lasted several days. Where am I going to get money? Get a job. My parents will fire you. They didn't. When he realized that boundaries and budgets had been set in stone, and that he not only had to pay the bills, the rent, but taxes too, he headed straight to college to wait out the next four years. He is still a little jerk, but at least he has a job and an education now. One of my college roommates told his parents the trip we were planning that they were paying for was $400 more expensive than it was so he could buy a really nice barn. In addition, they basically paid for everything he wanted, he had their credit card, and ordered food on it at least once daily. He also would make $50 purchases off the card pretty regularly. Long story short they found out he lied about the cost of the trip. 
for whatever reason they still paid and let him go, but after the trip he could not use their card anymore. This dude acted like he lived the hardest life of all time afterwards, but eventually sucked it up. He actually acts way less entitled now, it ended up having a lasting positive effect for him, even though he wouldn't admit it. No joke here. Back in high school, 90s, this kid got a brand new Chevy Camaro. I had an old Dasatis Pontiac Phoenix that had the straight six. It was by far not a racing car, but this tool was just looking to brag at what he got compared to the busted cars we got. About two days later, while we were waiting at a stoplight this idiot tries to race us as I'm in my car, and I pull up with my friends. He does starts by revving it really loud and tries to do a burnout. Mind you the light was red and the roads were not wet. So he managed to get a tiny burnout going, some smoke and whatnot. When his tires did catch traction, he went barreling into the intersection and smashed the car of the wife of one of the very few cops in my small city. Needless to say, that didn't work out for him very well. While working in a casino here in Las Vegas, a herd of girls came to my window, and one proceeded to tell me about her great birthday party itinerary that her dad had paid for. For her 18th birthday, with no adult in the party, just a bunch of teenage girls out in Vegas, where none of them could do anything, because none of them were 21. I couldn't even check them into their reservation. They start yelling and screaming at me. I calmly call security, and security tells them they can either go play in the arcade or leave, and try to find a hotel off the strip, that will take them in w slash out being 21. The anger turns to tears, the security guard is unmoved. A kid from my high school, came from a well-known family, that was very involved in politics. He slacked off in school, and was mostly a condescending ass for years. After graduation, he didn't really do anything, but eventually decided to run for office as he had the same name as his father. He won easily, because people didn't realize it was the kid. As a state rep, he posted on Facebook about enjoying his women battered rather than plain, and asking to join the Black Caucus, because he liked hip hop. He also dropped a loaded gun on the floor in the middle of a session. After fighting for the right to carry a gun in the state, housed as a responsible gun owner, he kept getting elected despite these issues, because his family was well connected, and he had a dedicated following from some political groups. After 6 years in office, he gets busted for soliciting sex from a minor over the internet. When they arrest him for that, they also discover he's been dealing drugs. The worst part is, that his family is actually super nice, and genuinely made the community a better place, but now they have to deal with all the issues from him. He was an apple that fell very far from the tree. Colon open bracket. When I was a teenager my sister and I saw through our windows that there were two guys getting into her car. We ran downstairs as fast as possible and caught them in the act. One managed to run away but the other one froze and didn't run away. He couldn't have been much older than me. My sister called the cops and the kid kept looking at us and trying to find a way to escape. My sister said, run if you want. My brother will catch you. The cops came, and so did his parents. His mom drove a fucking amazing car and the lady looked furious and sad. She was dressed really nice, and looked like she was pretty successful. As soon as she got out she began yelling why. We give you everything. You have everything. Why would you try and steal? Don't we give you enough? The kid just seemed to shrink and get smaller. I don't get it. Fucking asshole. I hoped he turned his life around, and began to be around better people. Nothing too serious, but I taught at an international school in Africa and we would take the high school students camping one week out of the year. Many of these kids are not used to camping at all, and have never even taken public transport. They have full time drivers bring them to school and pick them up. Some of them are from very wealthy and politically connected families. Having to set up tents and get dirty, not be able to shower every day, and sleep on hard ground is new to them. Some of them actually love it, but others are sad pathetic wretches the entire week. Freshman year of college, the guy across the hall from me is a spoiled rich kid from a big southern city. Old money clearly coming out his ass. A couple weeks into the second semester he and a buddy found a checkbook on the sidewalk. Stupid fuckers decided to write themselves a check and cash it in the bank that the account is in. The teller immediately called the cops and they both got arrested. 
we talked the night he got arrested, and he laughed, and said his dad would take care of it and everything would be fine. That weekend we met his dad as they moved everything out of the dorms, since his dumbass got expelled. Guess daddy didn't take care of it. Kid I knew, won a cool million off a scratch ticket, when he was 19. Acted like a big shot. Arrogantly buying rounds of drinks for entire bars. Didn't do shit for 20 years. Then got the last check, alcoholic. No savings. No assets. No skills. He's now in and out of hospitals for alcohol poisoning and mental breakdowns. Lost his paper hat job. His GF. Everything. For a couple of years in high school I went to this super expensive American private school in Switzerland. The company my dad worked for paid for almost all the tuition. So it was an amazing opportunity for me. Most of the kids in this school were either state department or from American families living in Saudi. Saudi provided expat kids with school up until 10th grade. So you had to go to a school abroad to finish HS. There were however, a few Saudi kids that were there, mostly so that they would be able to speak flawless English to help out their future careers. One of these kids, who I will call the prince, was somewhere in the line of Saudi succession, but honestly, he was like 1455th in line for the throne. Not a real contender for king, but his family was rich. Like rich in a way, that most of us can't even imagine. This school had some rules, like you couldn't have a car as a student, even if you were old enough to get a license Switzerland. This rule was a real bust kill for the prince, but he made it through the year somehow. Over the summer after his junior year, he drove back to the school from Geneva in his Lambo, probably just because he could do it outside the school year. On his way up the mountain, the road is like a endless series of hairpin turns. He managed to flip his Lambo into Vine Yard while trying to navigate one of those hairpin tons. I'm guessing a Lambo has a lot of power, and he took it to heart. His parents, furious at what he had done, decided to punish him by replacing his Lamborghini with a Porsche. And the prince was so angry, he complained about it bitterly when the school year started up again. The rest of us kind of just looked at each other in amazement. Same planet, different worlds I guess. Local rich kid had his sub parked in a no parking area at a club. Tow truck shows up to tow it away, and the kid goes ballistic do you know who my dad is etc. To the driver. After a minute or two of this the passenger gets out of the tow truck, and is a full patch hell's angel. The biker politely tells him it doesn't matter who he thinks his family is, and the sub is towed away. I knew one who apparently couldn't fathom how people live on a budget. We used to hang out a lot at her insistence, but she liked to eat at expensive places, whereas I'd have no issue having my meals somewhere cheaper. However, she kept pouting and insisting I stay. I said I couldn't, unless she wanted to spot me. She didn't. I then walked her through the math, and showed her that the cost of my meals with her, every day, totaled my entire wage for the month. She didn't stop pouting, but from then on I could eat by myself in peace. I'm trying to be a better man, and not take delight in anyone's misfortune but, rich kid in my high school totaled his pickup truck. Got pissed when parents wouldn't replace it, so purposefully crashed his twin brother's pickup truck cause. If he couldn't have one neither could the brother. Not to mention all the legal stuff, that I'm sure was fallout from doing that. Anyways, kid disappeared. I assumed he went to jail or sim equivalent. Found out recently that no, he didn't actually, his parents literally disowned him, like with the paperwork and everything, and sent him on his way to fend for himself. And I have no idea how life turned out. Guy from my robotics group had his entire life handed to him. His dad was stupid rich, because his dad bought shares is an oil field that turned out to have 40x the expected yield, making his $100,000 investment become around 3 million. Then he dumped that into real estate rentals. He decided it would be fun to go to a school trip in Philly acting rich as fuck. He drove his lifted modded self to a school we were doing a robotics event at in North Philly talking to younger kids about how it's fun and their school has started offering it then were, were going to the Franklin Institute from 10am to 3pm then a phantoms hockey game. Well 9.30 rolls around, and we leave the school, to see our bus driver talking to cops. Five kids drove themselves down, guess which car was stolen? His dollar sign 90 k monstrosity was missing, and after two months all that was ever recovered, was his stereo from a pawn shop and his laptop. Best fucking part? 
he didn't have insurance on it, yet because he can just buy the other person's car, if there's an accident, anyway I'd win the fight. His dad flipped out over it, and cut his allowance to $200 a month, and forced him to drive a beater till he saved up his own money. Rich scummy injury lawyer's kid was in my class in HS. Goes to college, mid-size school in the Midwest, and gets plastered drunk. Parents bought him, and his friends alcohol, since freshman year so nothing new, and Rat says he has to write him up for alcohol in the dorms. Punches to Rass, then gets cops called on him, and knocks a cop's tooth out. Long story short his parents have to drive back 6 to 7 hours after one day to get him, and he's not even allowed to leave the state until his hearing. Last I heard he's working at a fast food establishment. In a country with high alcohol taxation. Rich kids enter pub, like 10 to 12 of them, throw card at bartender, demanding shots. What would you like? Whatever lol, dad is paying the mayo. Bartender pours double J. W. Blues for all the brats and some randoms that they treated. Brat with card, had tears in his eyes, when the tab came in. Dad's going to kill me. I did enjoy the free whiskey though. One of my college roommates was very rich growing up. I didn't realize just how rich, until I had to explain to her what a coupon was in very extensive detail. On multiple occasions she bragged that she wasn't even interested in her major, philosophy, or college in general, but she was at uni because her parents were acquiring her to get a degree, any degree, in order to get access to her trust fund. I don't remember ever seeing her go to class and she eventually got expelled sophomore year over academic dishonesty. I guess this was the last straw for her parents, because they cut her off pretty soon after that. This actually served as a wake up call. She somehow managed to get a public health degree at a different school in spite of the academic dishonesty listed on her transcript. She's doing pretty well for herself these days. We've kept in touch and last we talked she was considering grad school.